Hey guys, LBS Briley here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I have available on my Etsy. So about, ugh, I don't even know how long ago, I think it was a few months ago at this point, um, I uh, created an Etsy, it's called LPS Briley Shop, um, it'll be linked in my description. And I had filmed a video showing everything that I will be selling, but by the time I even thought about um, editing it, I had actually sold a few of the stuff on there. So um, I, I just decided it'd make more sense to refilm the video since I have new customs to sell anyways. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be. It's just going to be showing you everything I have available. So first I'm going to be showing you uh, my older customs and then the ones I've made recently. Also, sorry if the camera angle keeps jumping around. My uh, tripod is being really wobbly today. <laughs> I do not know why, but it's annoying me too. So sorry about that. First, I have these three customs that I had listed a few weeks ago and they still have not sold. So I'll probably be lowering the prices. Um, first, I'll show you guys this one because this is the oldest one. It's this little collie that I customized. It's this dark brown, let me focus on it. Okay, first it's this little dark brown collie with these stripes on it. It has these white wings with some orange and it also has orange in the eyes. I was really happy with this um, custom. I feel like the uh, base coat's pretty smooth and whatnot and then I liked all the colors I used. The eyes definitely pop. Um, I was tempted to keep this one but I know that um, I probably wouldn't use it. So yeah, here it is. It's super cute. It has these tiny little X's in the eyes. I couldn't make them symmetrical. It was too hard, but uh, yeah, here it is. Um, super cute. Next is this custom right here. It's this little um, dachshund. It was based off of a parakeet slash budgie. They're the same bird, just they have two names depending on where you're from. So yeah, I was really happy with this one. I made this after I had made my cockatiel custom that I'm keeping. Um, and I knew that a budgie would just fit so well for a dachshund. Uh, I tried to do like some gold in the eyes. So it has like this yellow and gold color. And then it's obviously based off of a um, budgie, the blue kind. So that's why it has these face markings. It has some sculpting right here on the eyebrows and then a little bit on the ears. Um, and then on the chest right there, it has some feathers. And then the main part are the wings. So I made them using Nita tight, I believe. Um, and then they're just painted white and black. So yeah, I, I was really happy with how this custom turned out. Uh, it used honestly a lot of clay. It took a lot of work to sculpt, but it, it turned out so cute in the end. So yeah, here it is. And then out of the older customs, this is the last one. This custom is based off of um, Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen, which is an anime and manga. Um, I've seen the show, it's pretty good. I know it has a pretty big, like, it's pretty popular. <laughs> but yeah, I made um, Itadori off of this Great Dane mold. So he just has sculpting for his head, which turned out way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I just, I didn't um, plan on making this much hair on him, but it just didn't look right, so I had to keep adding more. I think it turned out really cool. It's very spiky, <laughs> um, but I think it looks pretty good. Like the character, um, here's a picture of the character if you don't know who it is. Uh, yeah, and then the eyes, I tried to make it look like the eyes more from the show versus LPS style. I'm happy with that decision. I think they turned out super cool and I would love to make more eyes similar to this in the future. They're just like these. Let me zoom in. Yeah, so they're just these like uh, gray eyes and then I have the eyebrows. <laughs> they're not exactly symmetrical because eyebrows are hard. And then I just have a little bit of sculpting right here and then the little like badge on his uniform and just slight around the like ankles to show like uh, boots. <laughs> but yeah, here's the custom. I am really was really happy with them. So yeah, here is Yuji Itadori. Wow, I actually forgot um, the oldest custom I have right now for sale is actually this one. 
Um, there's a channel on my YouTube about this custom. Uh, it was made for a series that my sister and I used to do called Custom Verses, where we had a theme each month and we um, would make a custom based off of that theme. It only lasted two months, but we're thinking of bringing it back. But yeah, here it is. Um, the pictures I have for this one, it was before I glossed up the eyes, so they're not as glossy in the pictures than they are in real life. But yeah, uh, this was my superhero custom. <laughs> not much of a superhero, but it just has this metallic green and gold and then this brown paint and then some blue eyes. So yeah, here he is. Now I can start showing you guys my newer customs. These ones, like I said, are a lot newer, so they're a little better than the previous ones. Um, first up, I have this one, which is super tall. <laughs> Let me get them standing, and I will show you guys. So yeah, here's this one. Um, it was made after the Ruffle Feather Studios on Instagram, they had a theme for circus, so I did a, um, oh my gosh, a stilts walker and stuff. It also has this really cute hat, so let me just show you guys with it on. The hat just kind of gets placed on the head. It doesn't really um, stay there that much, so if you buy it, you might need to like attach it some better way. But uh, yeah, this one was made using epoxy sculpt. So it's pretty heavy, uh, it's just this cocker spaniel and then it has the stand. It doesn't come off the stand, I tried making it but it wouldn't. Um, so yeah, it's just really cute. It has these striped pants and it's kind of 4th of July or like patriotic I guess because it has the red, white, and blue um, color scheme which I think turned out super cute. It also has these gold uh, bows on either side of it. And then some gold detailing in the fur, as you can see there. Sorry, I know it's a weird angle. This one does, it, it doesn't get picked up very well on camera. So yeah, here it is. And then this is just what the bottom looks like. It just has my signature in 2022. Uh, so yeah, and then here's just the little hat. Um, just what it looks like. I used uh, epoxy sculpt to make this for the first time, which it's quite the experiment, but I liked it. The last custom I have to show you is this one. So this is a little bear custom. It's made using a G3 mold. It also has uh, glass slash resin eyes, depending on what you like to call them. Um, they're, they're just eyes made from resin. It's just this little cute yellow bear and stuff. Um, here it is. Like I said, made using yellow and orange, and then I also have some uh, pink flowers. I can't remember if I used Nidatite or Epoxy Sculpt on it, uh, but yeah, here it is. Um, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cute. It's not the best paint job because I put in the eyes after painting, which were probably was probably a mistake because it kind of got scratch, scratch. And I also glued on these little butterfly just right there right there so yeah the main I guess attraction of, the, uh, of this custom is its eyes let me try to zoom in on them yeah so they're just these like yellow white and purple eyes they have little petals in them that I had bought they're like dried petals and then they have these little gold hearts for the people um, it's kind of hard to tell in this eye and then it also has some green glitter so yeah, here's this little bear. It's super cute. So here's a final look at all the customs. <laughs> so yeah, that is all the customs I have available on my Etsy right now. Hopefully I'll be able to work on some customs next weekend to show you guys. Um, and then I'll probably be doing um, another drop a few weeks from now and I'll make a YouTube video hopefully on that. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll probably wait to post um, new customs until I have like three or four at a time just to make it easier on me. But yeah, if you guys are interested in any of these customs, just check out my Etsy. It'll be linked in the description of this video um, or just the name is LPS Briley Shop. Uh, and yeah, 
Um, like I said, if you would like to see pictures of the customs before they're on YouTube or just better pictures of them in general, you guys should definitely check out my Instagram. That's mostly for customizing and stuff. Um, and also just check it out to, you know, <laughs> I'm a lot more active on there than YouTube. So yeah, anyways, yeah, hopefully this video turned out okay. It's kind of hard to get, um, the like look of the customs. I guess in person, <laughs> they look a lot better than they do on camera. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you're interested, please check them out or just share the um, customs in general. Obviously, this is kind of new for me. I've only sold like three or four customs on Etsy, but I'm hoping to do it a lot more often because it's honestly really fun making customs and whatnot. And yeah, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like this, then you could check out my channel. Bye guys! Hey guys, LPS Briley here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you I... Ah! Now I can show... Ah! And then the last custom I have to show you guys... If I could level out my camera. <laughs>